Welcome once again to The Brew, Jersey Joe, I am and you, live here on YouTube, or those of you enjoying the fine rebroadcast. Got a good question for you this week, and uh, you really like this one because we got one of our most amount of answers ever. But the question is, what makes L.A. so L.A.? When somebody talks about Los Angeles, what's the first thing you think of? Well, you got a lot of answers here, so we're going to pretty much run the board of every possible answer that's available. But uh, we'll go to Joel out there first, uh, live in Vegas. Joel, what's the first thing you think about when you uh, hear the words L.A.? L.A., Los Angeles, City of Angels. Um, unfortunately, I have a lot of experience visiting L.A., um, and that's not a good thing. So I'm going to say the, the first thing I want to say is uh, that I think of is, like, fake people, fake attitudes, fake bodies, fake human beings with, like, robotic, <laughs> robotic everything, pretty much. I make friends. Like, I'm a pretty friendly person in general, so when I travel, I make friends, and L.A. is, like, one of the only places that I struggle to make friends. Like, wow. that's, how, that's how fake everybody is there. Wow, interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, in full disclosure, I have not been to L.A. now. I think it was 2008 was the last time I was out there. It's been well over a decade, 15 years. I'm an East Coast guy, not a West Coast guy. I'm not really excited about going to L.A. The first thing I think of, though, is the old game show, The Hollywood Squares. Hey, remember Hollywood Squares? You know, you know Hollywood Squares? Uh, yeah, yeah, old school. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't brought that back. You know how they're remaking all these old TV shows now? Like, the Hollywood Squares, it's like the perfect time to bring bring that show back in. And, it, and it's fun, too. Joe will host. <laughs> I should rig up an online version. I could probably put nine boxes on this screen here and figure it out. We could, we could do it. It'll kill my streaming, but it's not a bad idea. I have a, my real answer, though. My real answer, in fact, we had two of our viewers have the same answer, so I'm going to share them right now. Sue, she says traffic, and Aaron agrees horrible traffic. That's my experience in LA. Now listen, I live in New York City area. I'm dealing with traffic here, but for some reason the traffic out in LA is 5,000 times worse than here. At least New York has a mass transit system to get you around. LA is pretty much, you're sitting in a car no matter where you want to go. This is true. Yeah, that's a huge problem. That's a famous problem and it's true. I can verify. And I mean, I'm from the country of Pennsylvania where it was a half hour trip to go get groceries. Well, man, even though you have grocery stores close in L.A., you're still in the car forever to even do the littlest things than even before Uber, they had to worry about somebody being a designated driver and all that. So you have to, like, factor in that car experience anytime you do anything out there. Correct. I don't know. It's, it's, it's always driven me nuts over the years. But uh, that, that's, that's my deal. And, well, you know, I don't like driving. But, Joe, we got a whole bunch of answers from our fans to get through. So let's get through a whole bunch of them right now. What's the first thing you think about when somebody mentions L.A.? Well, Michael says, The Sign. Hollywood Sign, obviously. DJ says, Tupac, To Live and Die in L.A. song. Wigman342 says, Air Pollution. I wanted to bring that up because during COVID, do you remember how they were doing news stories out in L.A. where, like, they could actually, like, see the skyline for the first time? Because yeah, there was no cars in the box. Yeah, it actually, like, was clean and healthy to travel out there. We never really had that problem here in the East, but for L.A., they were, like, celebrating a day where they could do that. But it, it went back downhill, and now I think they're right back to the full-blown smog deal. Yeah, I mean, it's impractical to get around L.A. without a car. Like, it's just, it's possible, but, like, that's, that's it's not like New York with you, where you have the mass transit, like you said. So, of course, there's, there's more smog back now. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything makes sense. So that's more answers. Uh, Real Treat Sweets. He says, Dodgers, of course, and sends a fine gift of Vince Scully. Rough Guitar agrees, the Dodgers. Rudy says, the Lakers. Oh, interesting one. Basketball. Starman says, Jay Leno. And also says, cocaine. <laughs> All right. Mike of 325 says, seafood. The Saints. Fishing and hunting. New Orleans Jazz. Oh, yeah, and hurricanes. L.A. Did you, you did mean Louisiana, right? Is there another? No. And one more. Jay Russin 22 says, street tacos. Well, you know my opinion on the street tacos. You can't get that here in the East, but out West, you guys enjoy it. I love the tacos in Vegas. They even, are they any better in L.A.? Uh, it's, it's, it's all Mexican culture. I mean, they're, the styles are a little bit different, but yeah, they're all pretty, pretty much solid all out Southwest everywhere. Both cities. I will go on the record and say I've had Pink's hot dogs with the famous hot dogs there in LA, and I think they are completely overrated. I will take a dirty New York City street dog any day over Pink's. Plus they were like $10 for a hot dog just because you've got all this gourmet stuff on there. And I didn't want that. Okay. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't tried them. That's interesting though. And I remember on one of our shows before, we had one of our friends warn us about the Dodger dogs also being over. And like, nope, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't want to do that either. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like those either. That's, uh, yeah, they're not good. <laughs> they're overrated like everything else there. I will give real tweets, treat tweets a bonus, though, for the nice shout-out to Vin Scully, you know, a great uh, baseball announcer, one of the classic yeah. little legends of TV starting here in New York, retired out there recently. He, he, he was great. All right, lots more of your answers. Let's get through them because 
Always Board 57 says GTA 5. <laughs> Done. Wool childhood of mine when playing this. Kind of meant falls view. And Tybox says valet parking everywhere, even supermarkets. Is that true? Uh, they have like, well, it depends where you are. But downtown LA, yeah, you have to like, you, not necessarily valet, but you can go in like parking lots that they're designated for that. We're going to pay like $20. Yeah, that's for real. I don't know if I want to like give somebody my keys and pay them just to go pick up a, a gallon of milk at Ralph's. Uh, you gotta you gotta find a different way of getting there than get dropped off or take a lift or something. <laughs> okay. I, once again, I, I learned something doing these shows. I honestly, I I I did not know that. <laughs> as Ed McMahon would say. And finally, Bronx Bombers forty six has the answer: Hollywood plastic surgery. I don't know if plastic surgery is just related, just pretty much limited to L.A. Yes, it's a thing, but I mean, look what happened to Joan Rivers here in the U.S. All that plastic surgery is eventually what killed her. So that goes on in both coasts. You had the Kardashians and all that into it. I mean, it's, I think that's similar no matter where you go. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. Like, if you think of any city, when, when you hear the words plastic surgery, it's probably L.A. Like, that's probably it for most people. And also mention not covered by insurance. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Appreciate all your great answers for the show. Lots of good ones. And you want more fun? Click that like, subscribe button down below. Lots more fun here in the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Look at all those shows. There's the deal waiting for you each and every week. No plastic surgery here. Look at Joel and I. Clearly not. <laughs> I know, you know I don't like needles. That's never going to happen with me. I don't even think I could get Botox at this point just because of my whole needle fear. Yeah, you, Joe's, Joe's needle fear is of putting him in danger. It's going to put him in danger one day. <laughs> that comment is going to come back and bite me in like 10, 15 years. <laughs> what you just said there. You're probably yeah. right. All right, well, hey, we'll still be here in 10 to 15 years, at least. I hope so. All right, Jersey Joe and I on your and our friend here saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope.